Hello Game Boys and Game Girls, I'm the Game Boy Guru, and welcome to another pickups video. Uh, I didn't do one in December because I didn't think I had quite got enough in the mail to justify it. And then uh, through January, I definitely got a few things that I wanted to show off. So, let's get started with some Nintendo Switch games. Uh, I got some Switch games uh, in December that I have been wanting. Um, <clears throat> so, that would include Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. Uh, I didn't complete the uh, original version on the Wii, and I don't even quite remember how far I got, but I quite enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to uh, playing it again, and hopefully with a slightly more pleasing aesthetic throughout the game. Uh, I don't mind the Wii graphics, um, and I don't think they're as bad as people say they are, but um, but I do kind of like the improved style that uh, showed up in, in the two subsequent games. Next is Metroid Dread. Uh, I was looking forward to this one after I saw the announcement. So this is definitely going to have to go further up the pile in the uh, eternal backlog that I have. So yeah, definitely wanted to grab this. And also, as all of you who have been watching the channel probably have, have seen or heard me say more than once, I'm a big fan of the series, so I couldn't not get a copy of No More Heroes 3. Uh, I didn't buy it immediately when it came out, but... I have it now, and I'm glad that I do. So, definitely happy to have that in the collection. <clears throat> um, one other Switch game that I got in the mail recently, uh, that I, I want to say I ordered this through Amazon because it was on sale for some ridiculously low amount, is Darius HD. Uh, G Darius HD, I should say. I've had G Darius on the PlayStation for long time and it's a pretty cool game and of course the new ports by m2 uh, were going to gonna be great and so uh looking forward to this um and this will foreshadow something else but i also recently got um image fight and this is the famicom version and although I do not own a Famicom, uh, I do have the Retro AVS or Retro USB AVS, which can indeed play Famicom games. So I will be able to enjoy and experience this game that way. There's the uh, cartridge there in the nice little shell. Oh, wow, clumsy. <clears throat> Uh, underneath of that appears to be the IREM Corporation, uh, I don't know, some kind of information about the game, or I don't know. I don't read Japanese, so unfortunately I cannot tell you what this is. And because I don't read Japanese, I'm probably not going to get a whole lot out of this manual, but it is cool to have nonetheless. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It it looks vertically like this, but it opens horizontally, like you would expect a, a manual to open. I do like the fact that this is multicolored. It's not just black and white. So that's pretty cool, and is a nice touch. <clears throat> Some info there about the enemies and power-ups and stuff. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, Image Fight. That is... For some reason, it's one of those NES games that I just haven't uh, haven't picked up yet. Oh, what else do we have here? Something else in the box. Ooh, is this the is this the warranty card? Perhaps this just might be the warranty card. So very cool. But yeah, this is one of those games that I just have not purchased on NES yet, and one of the rare examples where the Japanese box art and the North American box art is pretty much identical in terms of the, the key art that's used. The only difference, of course, being that 
the uh, American box is larger for the NES, so they kind of took this design and and uh, I want to say it's got it's sort of bordered with a gray, I think. But it does have nice uh, embossing on the logo and the the pilot here, and then the plane and a couple of other elements. So that's a nice touch. Uh, let's see a couple of other things I got in the mail. <clears throat> or I guess let's do this first. Here's one that I picked up at uh, uh, Goodwill the other day. And uh, first thing I think I've bought it at uh, Goodwill in a while. But I got Army of Two for the Xbox 360. And um, I've got two other Army of Two games on the 360. And uh, at least one that's on the PSP. And I think one maybe on, yeah, one on the PS3. Or, yeah, PSP, PS3, and then two on the 360. But I didn't have the first one. So, yeah, why not? <clears throat> In the mail uh, from fellow RF Generation member Shaggy, I got another Master System game to add to the collection, and that is Rambo First Blood Part 2. This is a uh, box and cartridge. No manual, but he, he told me that ahead of time, and... Uh, so I knew that I was getting just the box and the and the game, but cool nonetheless because this is, from what I understand, this is a fairly solid overhead run and gun, not unlike um, Commando or something like that. So anyway, that's pretty cool to have. I also managed to snag something from uh, Strictly Limited Games. They do occasionally they'll do a clearance sale. Uh, they'll hold back a handful of copies of their limited release games <clears throat> in case someone uh, emails them or contacts them about a defective disc or game card or, you know, something that's broken during shipping, that kind of a thing. And so they always hold a handful back so they can fulfill, refulfill those orders. And uh, anyway, uh, after so much time has passed, they'll liquidate those items and uh you know it's usually just a handful and so when they send out an email to those of us who uh order from them semi-frequently i got notification of a uh, of a clearance sale and with that i got hyper sentinel um this is of course playstation 4 uh it's been released on the switch it's on steam i think it's on just about every modern platform at this point but this is uh I have one of a, probably a couple copies they had laying around, and uh, it came with the sticker and, of course, the usual postcard that they always send out with art from the game. And so, glad to have this. It's it's just one more shmup that I didn't have. I've already got the digital version on Switch, but nice to have the physical when possible. Uh, speaking of... Strictly Limited. I also picked up uh, something a while back, or bought something a while back, that finally shipped here recently. And that is the Darius Extra version for the Sega Genesis. Uh, this is this is the version of Darius that M2 made and put together for the Genesis and Mega Drive Mini consoles. But they have, of course, put it on cartridge. Uh, there was a Japanese pressing through... Uh, Columbus Circle, and uh, anyway, Strictly Limited picked it up for the international release. So of course, this has the uh, the red design, not unlike a latter day Genesis game. There's the back there with uh, screenshots and description. Uh, of course, it's got the little Strictly Limited sticker on the side there, sort of seal of of uh, showing that your game is new, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and peel this sticker off. I, For these kinds of, of, of releases, I like to um, actually put the sticker inside the case and paste it into the, uh, into the case to sort of hold on to it. And so there's the game does come with a manual. 
Uh, but there's the cartridge itself, you can see. Oh, and uh, this is reversible art. And I am going to reverse it because I much prefer the uh, sort of all um, the black background design as opposed to the red. So I am going to go ahead and swap that out now. And yeah, make that so that my copy is the is more like an earlier Genesis game rather than a later Genesis title. I just kind of prefer this the slightly sleeker, cleaner look of the of the black background and and uh, that. So in the instruction manual, of course, we've got controller info buttons and all that. Screenshots talking about the game, heads up display, explaining the power ups, which is a key feature of the Daria series, talking about your different weapon upgrades and then your your paths through the game, the zone map, and then showing off the bosses. So this is very cool. Uh, I did find out from... Uh, oh, and it did come with a, a spare Darius Cosmic Collection uh, arcade and console postcard. I already have this, but cool nonetheless. Uh, I did find out from uh, Ed at uh, Studio Mud Prints, who does the Bullet Heaven series, that... Um, apparently these cartridges, uh, kind of don't run spectacularly on, uh, J the Japanese Model 2 console, I think. Um, I generally always play on a, on a North American Model 1, and he said that it runs great on that, but, um, either way, I'm looking forward to checking that out. Um, <clears throat> another thing I got in the mail here, just, a few days ago uh, that finally finally came out is the physical version of Stormwind EX for the Nintendo Switch. Um, this was made by uh, or the the physical was done by a company called Picks and Love Games. The game itself is by Duranik. And uh, <clears throat> for those who are unaware, Stormwind was previously a Dreamcast game, which I have over here on the shelf. And of course, this is a this is a reprint version, not an original copy. But um, before it was on the Dreamcast, it was originally supposed to have been an Atari Jaguar game, uh, but it never materialized on the Jaguar. And so, anyway. It came out on the Dreamcast, and then here, what's it been, two, three years ago now? Uh, it came out digitally, uh, the Stormwind EX version, the updated version for Switch, and uh, it was on Steam, and it might be on PlayStation 4, I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, this <clears throat> is the physical version that has finally come out, so let's tear into this and have a look. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that it's it's kind of just a slip cover with the stuff packed inside. Not fantastic, um, but you know, even though shmup releases are more common now than they used to be, we take what we can get. So here's the game itself, or the uh, standard switch case, I should say. And we'll uh, go ahead and tear into that. <clears throat> I'm going to take a look. Very cool. Uh, looks like the cover is reversible. So you can kind of get your choice of a an English language cover or a Japanese language cover, even though this was, uh, I think, German developed, if I remember correctly. Um, does have a manual, which is great. 
uh, and this is in French, so I'm guessing this is a uh, a little declarations sheet that has to be in there due to uh, the release um, laws within either France or possibly the European Union. So yeah, just some basic info about the game, weapons, gameplay, <clears throat> power-ups and stuff like that. Some nice art there. Menus and settings, high scores there. So this is uh, this is solid. I like the fact that it did come with a manual. It also came with this uh, nifty steel book with a, a design that was kind of lifted from the original box art of uh, the game when it first came out. And then this art that's inside here, or on the back here, is uh, mirrors some of what's in the center of the manual there. Nice design here. I'll probably go ahead and put the game in this and keep that one on the shelf. And then we also have... Let's see if I can slide these out of here. <clears throat> a little spacer in here. You found the way in, now find the way out. And then uh, just some info there about picks and love. This is kind of cool. It's got a little... Uh... Oh, wow. Well, hang on. I think this is... Yep, that's removable. Okay, cool. So it has this... Uh... Nice little card here as well. It's got a little bit of art there. <clears throat> Limited collector's edition. So here's some additional additional art card. So this is my uh, certificate of authenticity. So I've got 1,034 out of 2,000. And then here's again that art that was on the original cover of the Dreamcast release. <clears throat> Art that mirrors the uh, the new version. And uh, I've seen this art before in promotional stuff for the game. So pretty cool to have all of these little art cards included. And then we have the making of Sturmwind EX, which is kind of cool. It's a uh, nice little booklet here. Oh, wow. So this is full color. Yeah. So this this talks about how the game started life um, on the, or was supposed to have started life on the Jaguar. Yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And I don't remember. I'm hoping they'll say what the what the original original name of the game was supposed to have been. This is this is pretty cool. This will be a fun read. They talk about some influences. Hmm. Wow. Really cool. And then, of course, the move to Dreamcast. So this will be a fun one to read through. And it looks like it is in both English and French. So that's pretty cool. So, yeah, um, slightly, like I said, slightly disappointed that this is a that this is a a slip cover instead of a proper instead of a proper um, case or you know box but really it's not that big of a deal it's just more of a preference thing I guess but either way cool to have this I do like the steel book that's always a nice touch and the the book that comes with it is a nice uh, nice feature, and that'll be fun to read. So that is Sturmwind EX. Now, 
We're going to go back to Strictly Limited Games again for a revelation, a Darius Cosmic revelation, as it were. So this is, of course, the limited edition. It's the PCB or arcade board style uh, box that they that they put together as sort of a, a fun little send up to the origins of the Darius series. Thankfully, these stickers are not um, were not on there very tightly, so I can open it without <laughs> having to cut into them. So here we have our Darius Cosmic Revelation box inside. We'll get into that here in just a moment. But underneath, we've got something to check out. We can get that out of there without damaging it. <clears throat> so first, we've got the Darius Odyssey Cosmic Voyager. And so this is all about the two games that come in this collection, G. Darius HD, which I mentioned before, and Darius Burst, another Chronicle EX. So like the book that came with the Darius Cosmic uh, collection before, um, you know, there's all kinds of artwork and designs. Wow. Look at all this merch. All this Darius themed merch. That would be amazing to own a Silverhawk uh, jacket or something. Oh wow. Pictures of some of the older arcade cabinets. The two screen uh, Sagaya and Darius Burst AC uh, cabinets. And then of course interviews which are both in Japanese and English. Wow, there's a lot of information in here. Several people from the team that uh, were apparently um, interviewed, plus all this concept art, which is awesome to see. You know, early designs and stuff like that. And then, of course, that first part was all G. Darius. Now we get into another Chronicle. There's uh, more interviews there. Lots of stuff in here that'll be interesting to read through. Oh, neat. And then interviews with the Japanese Darius players community. So that's kind of cool. Get some additional uh, perspectives about G. Darius and <clears throat> Darius Burst. Cool. Let's see what else is in here. Messages from Darius people all around the world. Nice. So some international interviews and and uh, cool stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, this is this is neat. This will be a fun read, for sure. Ooh, the future of Darius. Oof. Okay, so that is the book, and it looks like there was something else in the bottom here. Let's see. Oh, yes, of course. We've got these, these laminates that they always send. That always make me think that they're coasters, but they're not. <laughs> so we've got... Here's a Darius Burst AC laminate. And then here's one that just says Darius. It's kind of the design you see on the on the um, uh, music CDs that they've included. Here's Cosmic Revelation, and then G Darius, and something underneath here still. Let's see if I can. Oh yes. Check this out. So we've got. Oh, that's right. This is a this is a Darius Burst arcade cabinet papercraft that you can put together and 
kind of make it like a like a little stand-up mini arcade cabinet as a it's kind of a display piece. I probably won't put that together only because uh, I kind of want to just keep this in really nice condition. Um, you know, I am going to, of course, open this and show it off and play the games, but I do want to uh, sort of keep the rest of this in, in really good condition if I can. So, I'll put the, the book back in the bottom here, slip this insert back in. But now, let's dive into this. Oh, the, uh, they do include the requisite postcard, of course. But now let's actually dive into this, which is really what we want to get to. This is, of course, the PlayStation 4 version. And as they do with most of these releases, it is a slipcover to denote the console and feature set that's available for that platform. Um, it did come with the Darius Cosmic Revelation pin that sort of fell out of the box there while I was looking at it. And it does have the nice Magnet magnetic flap there to open, and there we are. Darius Cosmic Revelation. So we've got several things in here. There is the Darius Omnibus 3 Serendipity. I will, of course, be ripping that CD to my computer and having those tracks available. There's also this, uh, this Blu-ray, which is Zentata Live. Live in O-East, Revolt, The Rice Burst, Another Chronicle. So this is uh, members of Zentata actually performing these songs live, which I'm excited to watch. This is going to be cool. We have... This is also really cool. There is this... Uh, there is this little stand-up of the... Um, Silverhawk. So I'll have to fit that in there, figure that out. But that uh, that can stand up like so. If I can put that up somewhere to display. Very cool. Set that aside for the moment. And then we've got what else? We have this Darius Burst, another Chronicle. Oh, yeah. So here's... Uh, looks like a, an advertisement for the game or a, like a flyer you would get. So Taito Type X2, of course, is the platform that it released on. And uh, nice little explanation of the game there. Probably something that you would have got had you purchased the uh, arcade machine. And similarly, we've got something like this for G. Darius. <laughs> Spacefaring Sea Life, Giant Battleship Return. So there's that nice poster. And then you've got your pilots on the back. And cool information about the game, the zones and uh, bosses and stuff inside. <clears throat> and the game itself, Darius Cosmic Revelation, or games, I should say, since they're technically the two games on the disc. Let's, uh... Let's see if we can crack into this. Gotta love it when they include the the ones that have the pull tab, but then you can't actually find the the edge where you're supposed to pull. Oops. Almost got it. There we go. So 
there we have Jurassic Cosmic Revelation for the PlayStation 4. <clears throat> and it's not a reversible cover. But there is the game, and I do believe this is just a single fold. Yeah, just with an explanation of the controls and how that all works for both games. So yes, Darius uh, Cosmic Revelation for the PS4. So, pretty cool. Uh, excited to finally have this in hand. It, it took a little bit longer to, to get here than I would have liked and what it normally does with these releases, but I'm not going to complain too much because it's finally here. <clears throat> and speaking of finally here, let's uh, let's take a look at one last thing or a batch of things that um, took a while to get here in the mail, uh, mostly because the uh, gentleman who sent this to me must live near the worst post office area in the world. Um, so, you know, not his fault necessarily, but it just always seems like stuff shipped out of his area takes forever but it has finally arrived so let me uh move this around here so I can grab this and that is an xbox 360. well it's just an xbox 360 right well no this is a japanese xbox 360. so now i have access to a library of games that uh, some of which will not run on the North American consoles. This is of course the Xbox 360 Slim, not the earlier models that Red Ring of Death um, pretty, pretty frequently. But uh, it did of course come with a controller, an HDMI cable, and a power supply, none of which I'm inclined to show off because that part's boring. But what's not boring is games. And I got a whole stack of games that uh, he sent along. He sent a couple of extras, uh, stuff that he was not, he did, he did not tell me beforehand he was going to include. Uh, I knew he was going to include No More Heroes, of course, um, because... He said he had it, and I said I wanted it. And Lollipop Chainsaw, uh, which he said he was going to include. Uh, this is one of those that has just passed me by. I just have never picked up a copy of it. And so it's a little weird because, um, you know, I like I like um, Suda51 stuff, Grasshopper Manufacturer. But for whatever reason, I just never grabbed it. I also got... Riot Act, which I want to say, I think might be the Japanese name for uh, one of the Crackdown games, I think. I'm going to have to look into that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Virtual Fighter 5 Live Arena. Never been a big Virtual Fighter guy, but uh, this is supposedly quite good. <clears throat> uh, let's see. There is limited edition, including original anime DVD. The Idol Master, Live For You. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this game is. But it was one of the games that he had. And it came. It comes with the slip cover. And uh, yeah. And so then there's the anime DVD. And the game itself, so well, we'll give that a watch. Maybe the maybe I'll get lucky, and the and the DVD will either have a have subtitling or well, probably all the best I could hope for is that it would have subtitling. Um, he also sent along <clears throat> the Idol Master Two, so a sequel that I to a game that I didn't know about, <laughs> as well as. Dead or Alive Extreme 2, because why not? 
I have the first one on the original Xbox, uh, the North American version. This is also Yaiba Ninja Gaiden Z, which I've not heard great things about, but I am curious about it. Um, so anyway, and this says it has Japanese, Chinese and Japanese texts and Japanese voices. So that's interesting. So we'll, we'll give that a go. The other games that I knew he was going to be sending were Otometius G. So I already have Otometius Excellent on the Xbox 360, the North American release with the, the, outer, the large outer box, the art book and soundtrack and all that. So this is the uh, predecessor to that, the one that was actually in arcades first. And then Strike Witches, which is also a shmup. And uh, that came in this larger collector box. So here's the, the big collector box, and it comes with this little figurine. And uh, I want to say it's just just the, the pullout with the figurine in here. And then another pullout tray that included the game along with uh, this, these instruction sheet and stuff on the, uh, the figure. So anyway, that's pretty cool. That'll be a, an interesting display piece. Up to, there we go. Get the lid closed there. So anyway, that is everything that I got either in the mail or at the store between uh, the beginning of December 2021 and the end of January uh, 2022. And uh, the most recent thing that I got out of all of this was actually Image Fight, which came as the on the day I record this. I think this came Saturday. So that would have been the 29th. That was the last thing I got before making this video. So Anyway, what do you guys think? Uh, so lots of cool stuff here. You know, what what are these games? Um, would you be excited to play? What stuff do you think I should uh, try out first? Um, any of you familiar with uh, any of these Japanese Xbox 360 games? Uh, you know, uh, and I, I think more specifically either the Idol Master games or, um, you know, the ones that we didn't get here, like Strike Witches and Otomedius G. Uh, I think the rest of these we, we got in uh, North America. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, what games would you play first? Uh, or what out of all, everything I showed off would you recommend that I check out first or early in you know going through all this stuff? Let me know in the comments down below. And... Um, you know, maybe tell me about some cool pickups that you've got recently. What nice games or game systems or fun gaming-related items have you added to your collection? Let me know in the comments on that as well. Um, I'll have a link in the description to my blog where you can check out my Game Boy reviews. That's uh, GameBoyGuru.blogspot.com. Also, please consider clicking the thumbs up and uh, also the subscribe button so that you can see more of my videos in your YouTube feed. And as always, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and game on.